Filmmakers from the Chinese mainland swept up the major trophies at the Taiwan Golden Horse Awards, the equivalent to Oscars for the Mandarin language cinema. Let's find out. Movie stars from the Mandarin-speaking film industry walked the red carpet on Saturday night in front of Sun Yat-sen Memorial in Taipei. They posed for cameras in designer dresses and greeted their shouting fans, who took the opportunity to get close to their idols. This year marks the 53rd installation of the awards ceremony, which was first held in 1962. The Golden Horse Awards are considered the most prestigious film awards in the Chinese-speaking movie industry. This year, honors for both Best Male and Female Lead Actor, Best Director, and Best Feature Film were all given to mainland movies. Veteran Chinese director Feng Xiaogang picked up the Best Director award for his social satire "I'm Not Madame Bovary." It stars Fan Bingbing as a woman who spends a decade fighting bureaucracy to have her divorce nullified after being swindled by her ex-husband. When I was making this movie, I wanted to make it as if it was my first movie ever. This is a process of learning. I did not know if this was right because many of my girlfriends were against my methods. But today, the Golden Horse Awards gave me the answer. I was right to do so. I was right to insist. I'm very grateful to the Golden Horse Awards. The 58-year-old director, screenwriter, and actor won Best Adapted Screenplay in 2005 with *A World Without Thieves* and Best Lead Actor in 2015 for his role in *Mr. Six*. The two lead actresses in the romantic drama *Soul Mate* share the Best Actress award. Zhou Dongyu and Ma Sichun play two best friends whose relationship is tested when they fall in love with the same man. Joe rose to stardom after playing the lead in Zhang Yimou's 2010 movie *Under the Hawthorn Tree*, while Ma is a newcomer. I am grateful for my last name. My last name is the Chinese character for horse, so I think I have a special connection to the Golden Horse Awards. I also think that Dong Yu and I are a very good fit. We have a lot of energy, so I think we should work on more movies together because I think we have a special spark together. Chinese actor Fan Wei won Best Lead Actor for his performance in the movie *Mr. No Problem*, in which he plays a farm manager in the rural China of the 1940s. The best feature at Saturday's ceremony went to Zhang Dalei's *The Summer Is Gone*, about a young boy's summer vacation in Inner Mongolia in the early 1990s. It's set to the backdrop of shrinking jobs at state-owned companies during a time of economic reform. Now, as the mainland's film industry continues to rise, the film industries of Hong Kong and Taiwan have seemed to hit a low ebb. One or two decades ago, the situation was exactly the opposite. Movie buffs relied on films from Hong Kong and Taiwan for entertainment. In recent years, as the mainland annual box office has continued to hit record numbers and the screens in mainland cinemas increased by leaps and bounds. The film industry there has been attracting a lot of money and talent. That's why we saw a dominance by mainland films in this year's Golden Horse Awards. Song Yaotian, CCTV.